Have you ever wondered how ice skates run? Something to do with the ice being slippery, perhaps? Well, surprisingly, it's not as simple as you might think. And the exact mechanism behind how ice skates actually work has been hotly disputed for years. One theory is the heat generated by the friction of the skates moving on the ice produces a slippery film of water between the metal blades and the ice. This sounds logical, but it doesn't explain why skates are still slippery, even at a standstill. Another theory is it's the pressure of the skater's weight, applied through the narrow metal blades that reduces the melting point of the ice and again produces a slippery film to ride on. And it's true, pressure can reduce the melting point of ice, as this experiment will demonstrate. So, we've got a block of ice around which we're going to place this cheese wire, which is attached to some weights. Now, watch this. Now, just like the ice skates, the ice under the wire is put under tremendous pressure, and this reduces the melting point of the ice. It's already starting to cut in there. It's amazing. Look at that. As the wire passes through, the ice above it refreezes as the pressure's released. It's incredible. That is How cool so is that? So cool. And after a few more minutes, the wire was ready to drop. Oh, it's working! Hey! Now look, Johnny! One solid block of ice. And can you see that? <laughs> can you see that um, frosted? Well, it's cut through. Pain that going through it is excellent, and that is still very, very. Try and break it. Can't do it, can you? Solid. Unfortunately, this pressure theory doesn't provide the whole answer either. A typical skater only produces enough pressure to reduce the ice melting point by a few degrees, which would make skating at anything more than just below zero a bit tricky. So what's the answer? Well, the latest scientific thinking is that it's a combination of the pressure theory and the friction theory, along with the fact that the bonds that bind the ice molecules together are weaker near the surface. So you mean, after all that, ice is naturally slippery? Um, well, yeah, technically speaking. <laughs> <laughs>